Hi, my name is Kim, and I play Betty in Black Rose. Oh, goodness gracious, I was talking about this earlier today. Um, I am the daughter of immigrants uh, from Portugal, and um, so we were just talking about how I learned to cook from my mother and that I like to keep the Portuguese tradition in our family so I can hand down the baton of our cooking, which is really important in our culture. So, um, so I was born and raised in New England, and then I um, moved out west for the weather and the kind people, and I ended up getting a gig on the road right away. I just came out, moved out west for about a month, and started touring with a, with a, a variety band. And um, so I started touring the country at about 21 years old, and I have been on the band train for about 36 years now. Um, show bands, um, you know, perform performing arts, centers, all kinds of stuff, tributes, non-tributes, original stuff, working with Jimmy Buffett's band. Um, yeah, music. It's been a huge part of my life. It's a family thing. When I was younger, I did theater, and um, I won a, a state championship for our school, and it was kind of a big deal, and I loved doing that, but I had an opportunity to work with my family in music, and when I realized that I could make a living performing, playing music, it was, it was a no-brainer for me. It got me out of where I was, and I felt like a lot of people in the small town that I grew up in, you know, we were getting kind of stuck, and it got me out of where I grew up. And um, then COVID hit. Fast forward, you know, three decades. And I, I had been itching for something to do for myself you know, a passion, a ball of my own to play with. So I had a bunch of acting schools up on my computer and for months, and I didn't hit audit the class. I didn't hit audit the class until one day I'm like, you know, I had to get over the, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are where you can become an actor at this age? Something you've always kind of wanted to do, but you weren't able to do. And I hit audit class. And I went and this whole life started to build inside of me. There was just this passion and I talked about it constantly. And I was working on characters and scenes for scene study class constantly. A lot of it depends on the character that you're getting ready to play. So for a character like Betty who is complex, um, it was really difficult. Preparation for that was really difficult because her character is antithetical to how I parent. And so um, being the parent of an adult man, I look at you know being um, in touch with how he's feeling, what's going on around the house, and that sort of thing. And to be able to not portray Betty as a monster, but as a woman who is struggling with her own fear um, was difficult. So I remember on set just comparing myself to people who I know were going through those things. So I thought of so-and-so's mom who was that way. So I would be in touch with who they were and tried my best to understand how this could possibly happen. How could this possibly be? And, it, and it's very possible. I did a casting call, and um, those are interesting because you just don't know what you're walking into. You prepare a monologue and you walk into a room full of producers and directors and you know, casting people, and um, it can be very intimidating, and I remember the room being very quiet. Um, and it turned out that there were two gentlemen in the back that were casting for Black Rose, and uh, I spoke with uh, the writer a little bit later on, and he seemed pretty neat. And then somebody had reached out in, on Instagram for um, another casting call for a specific, for Black Rose, but I didn't know what it was for yet, but I knew it was for something cool that was happening in town. And so I went to um, another casting call the following day and read in front of the director and the writer. and. Uh, it turned out that three other people had auditioned for that same 
movie and we all were cast and we are all connected in a very interesting way. So, um, so I got lucky. That's how I look at it. There's a lot of talented people out there. I was lucky enough to be in that room that day and meet those gentlemen and get to that next step and get that part. The first day, the first day on set for Black Rose, it felt like home. I loved the location. The location reminded me of, it, it just, it was what I had in mind for Betty's home. And it felt like I belonged there. Um, the crew was great. My uh, co-star David was fantastic. He was so warm and welcoming and he had worked with the director uh, many times before. So I just felt very much at ease. Um, I was a little bit in my head about the character itself because she's very complex. Like I said before, she um, is a, a an abuse survivor who is um, doing her best to do just that, survive. So um, I was very serious and very, you know, um, I almost had a little bit of tunnel vision with it because I didn't want to I didn't want to lose the gravity of the situation that we were playing here. This wasn't, we weren't, this wasn't a whimsical film. <laughs> we weren't, you know, messing around and having food fights and doing that sort of thing. We were telling a story and we were telling a really powerful, important story. And, you know, for some things there's, you know, there's just that, those times where you have to buckle down and be very, very serious. And it was a very serious thing. And then I'd go into the other room and giggle with my co-star a little bit. And that would kind of remind me that, that everything was going to be okay. <laughs> we're going to be okay. This is, this is not real life, but we're playing it like it is. So, you know, okay. So my favorite memory, you know, I love the kitchen scene with, um, with Stephanie because there's nothing like a mother-daughter love and relationship. So that, in that sense, I felt it was really interesting because when Betty looks at Stephanie and Kim is looking at Sabrina in that, in that moment, it was so real and I felt so connected to her and I felt everything that we were, the, the energy between the two of us felt very real and honest. Um, so that was my favorite in that sense. My other favorite was when um, the other three people that I'm very connected to were also cast and nobody told anyone because they didn't know if anyone else got the call. So we were kind of tiptoeing around each other like, anything new going on? Did you hear anything? Like, and so then we finally, and I went last, so the kids all went first and they told me and then I sat there and I'm like, I got Betty, I got Betty. And we were just like, yes, I can't believe this. It was the coolest thing ever. So that's my favorite memory overall. Okay, so I didn't expect a premiere. I didn't expect, I had no expectations. All I knew was I was fortunate enough to work with people who care, who are passionate and who are gonna deliver. And when you get that combination, you know, there's no guarantees for success, but you're in the right direction, that's for sure. So I felt really confident in that sense. But when I heard we were having a premiere, I lost my mind. I'm like, I gotta lose some weight. I gotta, I gotta go to the gym. And so it was just so funny. I, um, I got super excited about it. We started talking about dresses and so on and so forth. But until you're there, it's like your wedding day. It was a blur. It was a, bl it was a good blur though. People, your friends and family are there and they're excited for you and they're dressed up. And I can't tell you how many messages I got. Can I dress up? Can I dress up? I'm like, yes, dress up. And to be there with, with the cast and the crew and our families and for us to get to meet each other and, oh man, it was the coolest thing ever. And to go in that theater and look up there and see you and people that you love and these folks that you are become come to love working in this film, um, bringing that story to life was just powerful. I was proud of it. I was proud of it, and um, 
It took us a long time to get out of there and get home, but when I got home, I had a whole house full of people that were waiting to find out how it went because I, my band was working that night and I was not going to miss the premiere. <laughs> so half of them were here waiting to have another celebration. So, yep, it was like my second wedding day. Thank you so very much for having me. I really enjoyed this conversation that we had today. It was such a wonderful experience to work on Black Rose. I'm getting a Black Rose tattoo. I have not decided which rose I want yet, but when I do, I'm going to invite the director and the writer and the DP and anyone that wants to come along to watch this experience and hold my hand, um, that's happening. Um, <clears throat> I feel fortunate enough to have been cast in a significant role in a feature film that's going to start filming at the beginning of next year called Love Lock. And um, I can't tell you anything about it yet, but it's really exciting. It's a character that's in my wheelhouse and she's kind of tough and rough and tumble and cocktail waitressy and, and it's going to be fun and if I get to smoke that'll be even cooler. Um, so thanks again. Thanks for having me. Kim Dominguez Simmons, um, that's my Instagram handle, and Kim Dominguez Simmons is my Facebook handle as well. So if you just look Kim Dominguez Simmons, you're not going to find anybody else but me. So thanks again. Thanks for having me.